welcome back to my channel i do hope you're doing well can you believe this is the last monthly favorites of 2022 i am so sad i am so sad i am so sad to the point it may only be half 11 on a monday morning but i'm having some baileys okay because there has been plenty of baileys throughout this month so it only seems to fit in okay guys i'm sad i'm very very sad i'm still on the men so you're a little bit further away because i still do have a little friend on my face which when you see the skincare bits they've been helping me out good and but my lovelies shall we get comfy because i know i am i am so snug as a bug you would not believe <laughs> if you saw my what i got for christmas this is definitely one of the best things that i got and you're probably thinking well how's it in a monthly favorites because you've had it for two three days i don't care I don't care, this is in my monthly favourites. But guys, get comfy and shall we roll with our last monthly favourites of 2022? Oh, this is emotional. <laughs> right. I don't even know where to begin. I feel like so uh, overwhelmed today. I'm just like, no, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. But I do have my trusty iPad to hand. And because I have run out... <laughs> Of space in my notebook I need to get another notebook out but do you think I can get to the notebooks right now no no I can't indeed so we've got it all on the iPad okay we're gonna try and go like 21st century with this monthly favorites first thing is first I'm gonna talk about YouTube YouTube I'm not gonna lie has been the thing that I've had on in the background trying to keep me sane throughout this past month because I don't know about you but the month of December is just hectic isn't it with a capital H it is hectic there is never enough time there's not enough hours there's not enough money let me tell you that so youtube has kind of been like my release i've just kind of been putting it on and the people that i have been loving this month is a slice of jess if you watch demi donnelly she is a good friend of hers and they do like a lot of duo videos but i've been really enjoying her vlogmas of course the one and only mr wraith charles who has been smashing out the festive content and is so so guys you just need to go and watch him you know i link him every single month when i need a good feel hearty little video he's the one i put on i still do have a few of his to catch up on but his is not ones that i put on in the background here's the ones that like i will sit there with my baileys with my little cheese board and we will sit and enjoy each other's company so yeah him i will always leave down below um i've kind of been gravitating towards like some old people that i used to watch not old as in age but like I used to watch Amy Rose Walker. I think Amy Rose Walker, that's it. Um, it used to be Bella Bambino, but she's changed her name, I think, to Amy Louise, I want to say. Uh, Laura Meacham, Hazelwood. I've been just, like, kind of regressing and going back, and I love watching all of their vlogs and a lot of the festive content. However, my YouTube to watch list is filled with festive content and vlogmas, so... I definitely feel like there's going to be one day before I go back to work where I literally sit and do nothing. It might be New Year's Day. I might just have a right pamper day and just chill and do nothing. See the uh, New Year in with a little pamper, eh? But yeah, apart from that, oh, Shits and Gigs podcast. Can't forget the two main boys. I listen to them on the podcast on Spotify and also watch them when they do like the videos on YouTube because sometimes it's better to see their reactions. Sorry if my phone keeps um, a flashing away there. I do apologise. It's all you guys commenting, which I will be getting up to date with comments. I say getting up to date, I will try. I know there are some from like almost two weeks ago and I'm like, oh my goodness. Shannon Lee, pull your little goddamn finger out, okay? But yes, that is another thing as well. While we're on the thing of like, spotify and apps and all that if you have deezer which i have they are up in it in january to 15 pound a month i think that's quite a lot i'm not gonna lie so i had a look on and saw that spotify was doing three months free and then i think it's like nine or ten pounds a month because i only need like a single person's package i don't need the family and the duo and all of that so i am now in the transition of screenshotting and yes i mean screenshotting every single song that are on my playlist and then one day again i will be going on spotify putting them all in having a listen thinking is that still my vibe yeah add to the playlist is that not my vibe no nope, it goes so yeah i have changed over from deezer to spotify all about saving those pennies eh, my lovelies right while we're on the topic of music 
nothing has been playing in my car apart from christmas songs when i go to work it is magic fm when i am on lunch it is my christmas playlist when i come home from work it is magic fm again i am just loving the feels i am absolutely loving it and it saddens me because when you go back in the new year that's it after christmas i don't even know if there's christmas songs still playing on the radio now is there if anyone knows please do let me know or have they just fully put now it's gone past christmas makes me sad my favourite Christmas songs though, however, that I have been listening to this year, a good old classic, Shaking Stevens. When I hear that, I'm like, yes, Christmas is here, okay? Christmas is a knocking on the door. Along with Elton John, Step Into Christmas. That is probably up there in my top three. That's probably planking it, planking it, placing it and ranking it very highly. But yes, that is the way I just love it. And a new one, but it's not a new one. It was an Elton John and an Ed Sheeran one from last year. I've really been loving that. I have really been loving that. I have been trying to branch into like playing it in the office, but there's a few scrooges, so it hasn't gone down too well, and I keep getting the finger to turn it down. I'm like, fine, I will take it off, and we will just sit here in silence. If you know when you've been watching my vlogmas, um, my office don't really get into the Christmas spirit. Like, I had tinsel around my computer, and that was as festive as it got. Which is a shame. I do love a bit of uh, festivities in the office. Considering we spend nine hours of our life there every day. Yes. It's a lot of time. Let's have a look. Let's do stuff that I can show you. I want to try and like swip and swap it. While we're on the topic of like my face and the atrocity that it is. Let me show you what I've been taking. Because if you have been following my vlogmas. You know that I've been a little bit poorly. And it was poorly to the fact that I couldn't film. So I had to take three days off. So I had no uploads for three days before Christmas and I come back Christmas Eve because I physically couldn't do anything. I thought it was part of my Christmas do because I've done a bit too much dancing. Um, I think I caught maybe potentially a chill from Winter Wonderland. And then there's been a lot of like colds and flus and just germs going around. And yeah, mum had it and then it knocked me. And I'm still in the last little remnants. I've just got my little uh, cold sore patch on, which... You will see in a moment on my lifesavers. In the mornings and last thing at night, I get really wheezy again. I don't know why. Um, throughout the day, I'm alright. It might just be like an odd little tickle. But when I have an odd little tickle, it then turns into like a 10-minute coughing fit. But if you're watching this now and you've seen the Vlogmas, I am like, I would say, 90% there. It's just first thing in the morning and at night time, I need to like... And get this cold sore off my face. But apart from that, we're all good, my lovelies. So, my lifesavers... Compede discreet cold sore patches. Now I use these with a mixture of something else. You can pick these up in Tesco's, your supermarkets, Boot Superdrug. They're not the cheapest. They are about I think six or six fifty a pot. But how many do you get? I don't think it tells you, but you do get quite a few in there. I mean, I've got two packs open on the go because I had one, and my friend actually got me one because I was like, oh my god. I had a meltdown, I went for a wee wee and I bit my lip and as I bit my lip I ripped the sore off and I was like Phew. I was like what's the matter, I was like oh my god I ripped my patch off and being an angel that they are, they went and got me another pack and I was like there, go sort yourself out, I was like thank you I feel like you want to, I feel like I want to say you get like 12 or 15 in here I'm just condensing them down, you know what, we don't need two packets do we, but yeah absolutely recommend these, these are what I wear in the day, so as of now can you see? Because we're on the scabbing stage, that's why it's a little bit darker. These are what I will wear in the day. They are so discreet. Unless it puckers, you would never know that you're wearing them. And then at night time, I, this is an old favourite. I don't even know if you can get it. I don't know if you can still get it anymore. If you can, I'll leave it down below. Because it did say that it expired in 2021. Well, I've still been using it and it's done no harm to me. And this is the Blistex Relief Cream. Medicated relief for occasional cold sores, cracked, chapped and sore lips. Because I don't know about you as well. My lips have not been playing ball this month. They have been crusty, musty, dusty and I don't like it. I will do my moisturiser and lip balm. And from the time of me leaving home to get into work, my lips are dry as anything. So, this, when I tell you I slather it again, you will see me looking all kinds of messes in Vlogmas. I slather my lips in this at night and it is the Blistex Relief Cream. If you can still get it, I will leave it down below. And if you can't, I'm going to be gutted because it says that it's a strong ammonia solution. And I think that's why when I first put it on and my own cold saw had cracked, it stung like a... 
but it does really help. So I have the patches in the daytime. They say up to 12 hours non-stop action. What they actually do advise is don't take them off. Leave them on for up to 24 hours and once it starts to peel off, that's when you know it's done because it kind of creates a barrier. So it's perfect, as I say, if you want to put lippy on but you don't want to aggravate it. These for the day and a Blistex cream through the night. I know a lot of people say Zavirax, but I thought I had Zavirax and I didn't. So thank goodness I had my little two babies there. And then for my throat, good old Tesco. I'm not paying a fortune on cough mixture because it's not that often that I get ill. But when I do, it knocks me. And I'm just like, these have always worked for me before. It is the Tesco Health Dry Tickly Cloth. I think this is about 2 two fifty. And at first it was the tickly and now it's the dry. And I've probably got just under a quarter left. I have a couple of swigs in the morning. I have a couple of swigs throughout the day at work. And then I'll have some before night. But I have to be careful not to take too much at work. Because it makes me drowsy. Oopsie. And then I also have the sore throat relief. Same as the um, cough mixture, but I have the lozenges version. And they have been sorting me right out. Because let me tell you, the mornings, if you've seen the vlogmas, as you know, I physically can't talk. And I don't know why. I don't know why. I just get really wheezy. And at night time, once I get ready for bed, I'm like, really? I just want to sleep and I'm having coughing fits. But nothing that a bit of Baileys can't help with. <laughs> right. Let's get on with good old Netflix. So Netflix, I'm not going to lie, has been a bit hit and miss this month. I really, really wanted to, every night, sit down and watch a Christmas film. I say that every year, don't I? I'm like, right, this month, I'm going to sit down every night and we're going to watch a Christmas film. It never works. Never works because life is just too busy. However, I have watched a few. I have watched The Grinch. The Grinch. The the Grinch. That is up there. I still can't choose between that and Elf. I, I do... Oh, would I say I like The Grinch more? <gasps> oh my god, it's going to be such a controversial opinion. I feel like The Grinch and Elf are both my number one Christmas films, but for different moods. When I want, like, a really funny comedy one, I watch Elf. And when I want one with, like, a nice little story and a festive feeling, I watch Grinch don't come for me what would you say if you had to pick a favorite the grinch or elf let me know down below my lovelies i watched this with mum the other night but it's gonna go in there because it is something that i've watched and i still laughed as much as i did the first time office christmas party i thought i'd put that on because mum was a bit like oh what do we watch i was like let's watch like a comedy christmas and i think she thought i was gonna put a really cheesy one on but she actually really enjoyed it really really enjoyed it indeed however my series have been quite dark. There's not a Christmas series out, is there? Or if there is, let me know down below. I can't find anything that's a bit light-hearted. So all of my series have been quite... Yeah. I watched a four-part series called The Teacher with Sheridan Smith. Wow. That lady, I don't think she's ever starred in anything and not smashed the role. If you're looking for something that's like a thriller, crime, suspense keeps you on your toes not too long there are, i think 45 minutes to an hour an episode there's only four of them the teacher i highly recommend basically about stuff that i would think goes on in this day and age and how it transpires and the repercussions of say one said action me and mum also we did we did sit there we sat there and watched harry and megan Again, I feel like, oh god, I'm knocking on my candles. Again, I feel like it's going to be a very controversial opinion. I was not surprised by the documentary of what was said. And do I have sympathy for them? In some aspects, yes. But do I feel perhaps she is an instigator? Yes. For me personally, if you want to go and live your life, there are ways of getting your story or your testaments out without doing the things that they could have done um i feel harry just wanted someone to love like his mum and i feel she ticked all the boxes she knew the right things to say she said that she didn't know the national anthem but she always knew about buckingham palace and the royals and everything like that and yeah i don't i don't know i mean good luck to them 
but I think now he's well and truly burnt his bridge and his book's coming out next month, which I've been trying to get on a pre-order and I can't get it anywhere. So as soon as that comes out, best believe I'm going to be running to Waterstones and Tesco's and all my supermarkets to try and pick it up. But yeah, I don't quite know how it's going to go. And the only thing I feel sad for the little ones, like they're missing out on cousins and uncles and granddads. I just think it's not really fair on them. But did I buy it? No. Again, controversial opinion. If you've got anything to say, let's keep it light-hearted, Dan, in the comments box. Let's not be too... Uh, meh, 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 meh. We're all entitled to our opinion, and I say that it's just mine. That is my personal preference one. I did watch another three... Was it three or four episodes? I feel like it was three. Crime scene, the Texas killing fields. Guys, how can all this stuff happen? And if you've seen it, no one link it together. If there is a field that is commonly known for dead bodies appearing in it, why was no one taking it seriously for decades? No one took it seriously. And I just think, why? Why, why, why? We are in the modern era now. There was stuff back then that could have been done. But again, if you're like me and you like crime, and especially true crime, that is really good. Again, I wouldn't say it's light-hearted, but it's not like, an eight or ten part series you've got to get into i think it's three episodes it could potentially be four but it like follows on from each story and you see how it develops and i mean one of the dads oh my god it just breaks my heart but yeah i just don't get it i just don't get how things slip through the net and not just once but several numerous times and then the last series that I watched, which everyone and their mother, I think, has watched, is Wednesday. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't know why they released Wednesday in November slash December when it should have been coming out in October. Because it's a Halloween series. They said the productions are in for next year. And I read that thinking it's coming out next year. It's not. They reckon it's going to come out series two in 2024. Not going to lie, I'm slightly gutted at that because I had it in my mind that I was going to see Wednesday again in 2023. However, that's not going to be the case. The iconic dance scene. Oh my God, I just have that song in repeat on my head. The hand actions, everything. I really wanted to do a TikTok on it, but I haven't got that much in willpower, to be honest. But yeah, Wednesday, I think is eight or ten episodes. Very light-hearted, very fun. If you love the Adams Family and all of that jazz, it's a really good laugh. When Uncle Fester come in, I was like, yes! Uncle Fester is like the original OG, let me tell you that. And also, just while we're rabbiting on, another monthly favourite has been my glass. My little um, snow, not snowman, Santa. It is supposed to be a vase. We got it from a garden centre. But I think it's the perfect size to have half a bottle of Baileys in, along with a glass straw. Because when you have these patches on, if you're eating or putting your mouth around like bottles and stuff, it can like slowly lift the bottom up. So a straw, I quickly like, and I'm done. Done, done, done. But yes, that's another little favourite for this month. And what should we go on? Accessories. I haven't really got many accessories. I've got a bit of like clothing. Obviously, the main accessory is my phone case. We have got the Santa one, which the snow comes up. However, I have dropped this quite a lot this month to the point that the sides are hanging on for dear life. So thank goodness that I picked up some new ones from, oh my God, look, I dropped it that much. It's actually slid out the bottom of the case. Good job I checked that. Um, I picked up some from Shein. If you saw my Shein Christmas haul, yes. And that's silicone, so absolutely fabulous. With regards to the rest of like my accessories, as I say, it's more clothing. Primark five pound sets, please don't fall. These are what I've been living in. Not necessarily these ones because half of them are in the wash, but these are the only two that I've got to hand. These five pound rib sets from Primark, lifesaver. They are the softest rib little top. And the thongs, guys, are just comfort. C-O-M-F-O-R-T. Comfort. Honestly, they don't dig in. They're stretchy. Where I wasn't feeling too well and Mother Nature, the last thing I could think of was putting myself in a vice that we call a bra. Those 
hands down some of the best sets and they've gone up to six quid now not gonna lie they're slowly creeping up but i really hope that they bring some more colors out next year because i do have quite a few i'm not gonna lie and it's getting to the point now i think i'm gonna have to have a little thing on my notes on my phone so that when i go there because i get so carried away and i'm like oh yes i want this i want this i need to remember and have a look and be like have you got that color yes you have that means you don't need it i'll be like okay what other style can i get and then right i have to be careful now because i don't want to smash all the bottles yes there are a lot of bottles here this month oh my god like this. right another thing i picked up six of these and you might think shan they just look like leggings these are the most stretchiest comfiest leggings and can you see that they're furry inside they're like velour inside me and my girl who i used to work with we took a little road trip a couple of weeks ago well no, probably about a month ago now to romford and there is a shop in there called diva if you know romford it is inside oh what's the center liberty underwear as there is and i feel like it's opposite and around from choice if i remember correctly and I picked these up. They was three pairs for £10. Now, I'm not going to lie. My black ones and grey ones, when you put them on and you bend over, because obviously you have to do the bend over test, there's like a faint line in the middle where it's kind of like, mum says it's not been made properly. I don't care. If I go out wearing these, I wear a big long jumper over them. And if I'm indoors, it doesn't matter if I bend over and you see my bum. It's only me and mum. So I think next time we have a little road trip, I might definitely be going back. And picking some more up because three for a tenner three pound 33 you really can't go wrong can you and then this ain't gonna be to everyone's cup of tea but i couldn't not have a monthly favorites without it because this has just been me all month and that's my christmas cardigan guys i have absolutely been loving this whenever i have worn it to work i do get the looks i do get the stairs but i don't care i don't care next year i definitely want to buy another one see this is the thing i get very compulsive and obsessive don't i so now i've got oh please don't fall please don't fall now i've got one christmas cardigan i have a lot of christmas jumpers which in the new year when i do my big declutter i need to go through because some of my christmas jumpers i'm not vibing with anymore okay however now i've got a christmas cardigan I feel like I need to branch into Christmas cardigans. I also saw one in Primark when I went the other week and it had big candy canes on it. I was like, Shan, no. So I think every year now I'm going to buy a Christmas cardigan along with a Christmas jumper. <laughs> you watch this, I'll get to like 30 and I'll just have a wardrobe full of Christmas jumpers and cardigans. Oh my God, you know what I would love? <gasps> I've just had a brainwave. I would love to have a wardrobe just like a little single one purely for christmas bits christmas pajamas christmas socks christmas tops christmas bottoms christmas track suits christmas jumpers christmas cardigans christmas hoodies oh my god i haven't got a christmas hoodie would that be a bit excessive to have a whole one for christmas maybe i could condense it and have christmas and autumn slash halloween <gasps> yes i need a seasonal wardrobe i mean obviously not now because i've not got room to swing a cat in here but yeah, I need to make a seasonal wardrobe. Anything to do with seasons. Oh my God, Easter. I could get an Easter gong jumper from Sheen. Oh! <gasps> See, look, I just think of ways to spend more blooming money. This is not feasible. This is not practical. You don't need this in your life, Shan. But the thought of opening a wardrobe and having like Valentine's, Easter, autumn, Halloween, Christmas. Oh my God maybe not autumn because autumn would be general fashion wouldn't it unless it was actually stuff like my own pumpkin spice latte jumper and that i don't need it do i i definitely don't need it but i definitely do oopsie and then also the last thing for accessories is what i'm wearing this is my baby yoda oh my god look 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 at the state of me but I don't care. I love it. This is my Mandalorian snooty that mum got me for Christmas. And when I tell you this is the softest thing ever, this is the softest thing ever. It hands down beats the um, pink one that I have inside. Can you see that? Can you see the levels of Teddy Borgness? And it's all inside. Look. 
it's like I'm in a walking duvet. It's got a big, giant pocket in the middle. Oh, God, everything's falling. Look. Oh, actually, no, it's two separate pockets. Oh, my God, that's even better. Two separate pockets. That means two pockets for snacks. <gasps> yes. So, as you can tell, I was very, very happy with that. Oopsie. <laughs> Shall we get on to, like, homeware and accessories? I mean, we all know I do love a cushion. Exhibit my bed. There is cushions galore. Is that going to stop me buying cushions? No. I have been thinking, however, how to store cushions. Because whenever I leave, mum's like, Shan, you're going to have to take your cushions with you. And a lot of you guys just said backpack bags. So I think that is the way forward. But for now, we have the cushions. I'm going to be really gutted in the new year when I have to take these out. I have got a new bedding set that I got for Christmas, which is like Galaxy Vibes. But I don't have any Galaxy Vibe cushions. So, do I need another trip to Asda or TK Maxx, perhaps? Who knows? I might have to have a little detour and see if I can find something like Moon or Stars or Galaxy and a new throw. Need to have a new throw, don't we? I mean, we don't, but this is just you, Shannon Lee. Yes. So, accessories and homeware. Guys, we can't have Christmas without gonks, okay? And I just grabbed my three little closest ones, which was under my bed. You will know we got these from the Ideal Christmas Home Show. We didn't just get three. We did end up getting six. And we got a little carried away. But it is not going to be a December monthly favourite if I don't have gonks in it, okay? Gonks are mine and mum's life at Christmas. But saying that, gonks are our life pretty all year round. I want to try and find some Valentine's Day gongs. We have a few Easter gongs. We have autumnal gongs and Halloween gongs. And we have plenty of Christmas gongs. It is going to be like a little gong family in the back room once everything goes away. But I'm not complaining. Um, if you have been following our vlogmas, we done gong on the wonk. Mum really got into it. She didn't go as naughty as you could have gone. I do feel like she could have broke the barriers a little bit more. But hey-ho, nevertheless, still gonk on the wonk. We kind of fell off track when we got ill. So we started doing it daily and then <laughs> we'd like miss a day and then have like two naughty gonks. And then it went to like three naughty gonks. And then we got all the way up to date and then we both got ill. And gonk on the wonk kind of stopped. I think it was like the week before Christmas. So we didn't fully stick with it. But I think we've done very well for our first year. Because we never do Elf on the Shelf or anything like that. I just had a feeling of like gonk on the wonk. So... That was that was very eventful, let's just say. And what else was eventful was the sheer amount of candles I went through. This is just a snippet because I physically couldn't keep them all because the bins were overflowing. So, monthly favourite is a gas lighter. You know me, I've tried... Oh, there's a little bit left in it. A little bit left. I've tried the electric ones, you know, the rechargeable ones cannot get on with them whatsoever mum can't really get on with them she just likes using the matches but i like them you normally get them from tesco for a quid however i think you can pick them up in panland or like the bargain shops don't quite know if the price fluctuates a little bit but yeah those like gas lighters always for me and then as i say i have had quite a few candles but these are like the main ones that i've been really enjoying this month so the first set is a set of gingerbread tea lights these was actually a gift from one of our lovely subscribers and they went down a tree i have 12 little tea light things around my room so a whole pack fitted it perfectly and my room smelled like a gingerbread heaven if you know me my christmas scents are gingerbread candy cane and anything that's like warming and spice which you'll probably see throughout these you will remember this packaging guys if you're an OG, you will remember it. These are the Glade Candy Cane. It's only a little bit. It's more charred now. Um, I picked these up in the bargain shops. You can also get them in Wilco's. Sometimes you can get a giant one, but this was the only one I could get. It's not the only one because I did get every other flavour. I think I got three in total from the bargain shops over the past few months. But yeah, Candy Cane. Oh my goodness, we've got a catastrophe. Please don't smash anything, Mr. Bailey's. You're empty, that's why you're um, rolling around. We need to get you uh, topped up, don't we? And then a couple from 
DW Home, aka HomeSense and TK Maxx. This one, I love this. This was Holiday Fun Season Greetings, Vanilla Butter and Sugar DW Home. And I really like this one because the lid of it was like a game and you could spin it around. I've still got all of my lids back there, but yeah. Still, oh, still very sweet. I hate it when they burn down. Well, don't you just ever want an everlasting candle? And then this one, I'm definitely going to be cleaning this out and keeping this. This is by the brand Ray Dunn. And I think it's an American brand. I also have one now, which is the Old Snap Brown Holder, which is gingerbread. This was like um, caramelised. It's like caramelised popcorn, it smells very sweet. But yeah, how cute is that? I am very much one that if I see a candle holder that I like... I will wash it out to reuse and keep because I think that is something that you could not only just put a candle in next year, but you could put like some potpourri in it. Just a way of like jazzing an area up, you know? And then another one, cranberry spice. But if you remember this, this was the one with the lid. And now the lid was a full gonk, which is just back there. However, you can unscrew the gonk from the lid game changer so i haven't got to keep the gonk on a lid as an ornament i can actually unscrew them and have the gonk as an ornament elsewhere oh my god love that absolutely love that and then the last one you couldn't not have one for yankee and this was the apple cinnamon cider i actually went through two of these it's just this is a great one that is a transitional candle i would say from going into autumn to winter because it's got the apple cider You've got the autumn vibes, but it's got the cinnamon. So you've got your festive vibes. That, I think, is a very good one. And I think at Tesco at the moment, they are down to £10 if you have a club card. Always handy to have a club card, my lovelies. Let me tell you that. And then, oh. Oh, this is where it's all going to look bad. So let's get on to food and drink. And primarily there is a running theme with the drinks. So let's start with food. Seven days. I've been loving these, okay? Great little snack on the go. I am slightly annoyed because it says seven days, but in the pack you only get five. I think that's a bit miscommunication and misadvertising, if you ask me. But seven days, you get five for a pound in Home Bargains, I think they're from. And then, oh... I saw these in Tesco and I was so, so happy because you don't normally get these in Tesco's. They're oven bottom muffins. Now, you normally get these when I go to like farm shops at the log cabins. This is like my go-to for a nice breakfast muffin in the morning. When I saw them, I was like, oh, oh my God, we need them, we need them, we need them. I think they was £1.50, £1.50 for six. A little bit more pricier than your normal muffins, but honestly, oh, if you're from up north and you know like what a stotty is these are as close to a stotty as we can get down south i mean they are ridiculously tiny compared to a stotty but we've got to take what we can food wise i've just been snacking i'm not gonna lie i've been terrible i definitely can feel i've got on a few pounds over christmas but hey ho we'll get back in the swing of the new year and everything like that with the gym and i mean i don't think that i will be all oh, cramp I don't think that I'll be throwing myself into the gym because it's still dark in the mornings. I think what I will be doing is gradually getting myself back into classes and then maybe every evening going for like a nice little stroll and then bringing it up to a run. And then I'm away in February at the log cabin. I want to do the gym every morning then and there's a swimming pool and everything like that. And then once I'm back from the log cabin, I think I'll definitely try and get back into the gym because the morning should be lighter it should be as cold the evenings will be lighter so we're on our way but you know what if you can't enjoy yourself at christmas when can you do not beat yourself up if you put a few pounds on i know i have i know i beat myself up about it but i mean i beat myself up and then i'm sitting in and i'm still drinking baileys which is calorific to the nines hey ho just enjoy life my lovelies just enjoy it and i have been enjoying it i have been enjoying the pigs in blanket combo from MS. I have also been enjoying the turkey feast combo from MS. I thought I said next then, not next, MS. And then I couldn't get my Waitrose ones, but if you saw the 24 hours eating Christmas food, mum picked these up and these are the turkey and stuffing tortilla chips from Tesco, the gluten free ones. 
snacks. So I've been uh, partaking in a little bit of snacks. Alongside that, we have had weeks of party food. If you've seen the Vlogmas episodes, we done for the first four weeks, I believe. We went out to the shops, got a weekly food shop of all the Christmas party bits. We tested and tasted them so that you guys know what to go out and get for your Christmas day or your Boxing Day or even probably New Year's. I reckon they'll keep a lot of that party food out until New Year's. But yeah, I really enjoyed that. I think that is definitely going to be something that I will do next year. Like instead of just cooking every night, we'll just go and do a big food shop from one supermarket of all the Christmas snacky bits. If you did enjoy that, let me know down below. Or if you didn't, still let me know down below so I know not to do it for next year. A little bit of H2O. You know for them days when you were feeling a bit sluggish and you just needed a bit of goodness in your life? <laughs> goodness, she says. O'Shea. O'Shea? O'Shea? zero free drink i have been going through these like there's no tomorrow 750 mil for 49p at home bargains they do a yellow one but i've been loving the blue one this is basically a dupe for power raid slash gatorade and you know the sickening thing i went into an american store the other day i was really thirsty like gasping saw a gatorade picked it up saw two pound was like yeah whatever got to the thing he was like three pound fifty i was like oh you know when you're at the checkout and I'm like, I cannot be bothered because I could feel like my sugar was getting low. I was just like, just take my goddamn money and be done with it. Robin, ain't it? It's absolutely robbing. So next time I go home, bargains in the new year, best believe I'll be stocking off on those. And then these are just what I have remembered to keep. We have had copious amounts of bottles of mulled wine. I haven't got any of those to keep. The Asda Extra Special was lovely and tesco tesco just needs a little bit of sweetness added so i would say with the tesco one add in a very large orange sliced up but my baby has been baileys i'm not gonna lie um we've gone through quite a few bottles my lovely i've still got me apple pie and red velvet i'm very hesitant opening them because i want to try and do some baking with them as well so that might be something that i do in the new year an apple pie and a red velvet cake so maybe i might just do an apple pie and a red velvet cake eh? the baileys chocolate luke's this is dangerous because this to me i just feel like i'm drinking chocolate and before you know it the bottle is gone thank goodness it's only half a liter it's only half i mean you say it's only half a liter Sean. that's quite excessive to be drinking in a day mixed alongside the original baileys this is the 700 and then this was the liter these have gone down well and truly a lot of you commented on my vlogmas because obviously i have my mug and you guys say what do you mix it with and i'm like i don't that sounds really bad but like i could drink pints of baileys and it just doesn't i mean it does affect me after a while i'm not gonna lie but i could easily probably get half a bottle in before i start feeling a little bit woozy which people might think is terrible i just think well you like your drink don't you girl especially at christmas time baileys i can drink all year round but something at christmas it just hits different with baileys doesn't it it just hits differently and i'll tell you what's going to hit differently i'm gonna oh god everything's falling i'm gonna rearrange myself and get a little bit more central and then we can finish on makeup fragrances and all the bath care goodies right so when it comes to bath care, body care, I kind of am not a change book. I think we need to move these baby's bottles because they're going to start clanging around, ain't they? Um, I'm kind of a creature of habit when it comes to my bath care and that. But there's a few new little bits in here. You cannot have a monthly favourites in December of that snow fairy. And I've been working my way through, but a little bit of this goes a long way. And I did get a little one to top up in my Lush Christmas haul, which I think I'm just going to squeeze into there. Saves on the uh, bottles around the house, and we need to try and condense the bathroom down a little bit. What's this? Oh, I thought we said your Amazon package is on the way. I was going to say I haven't ordered anything. It's just telling me that my uh, Deezer subscription will cancel. I have a taste. Loving life, because as you can tell... I have started to wash the hair a bit more frequently and the roots are coming through. Can I be bothered to put the dye on it? No. 
Am I already thinking what to change my hair to next? Yes. Very undecided. I'm thinking I want to be red for Jamaica. Part of me is thinking, oh, but do I want to be ombre? I really want to be red. However, part of me thinks red could clash with some of your outfits, Shan. But I just feel like Jamaica's going to be like a fun holiday for me. So I really want, I feel most fun when I have my red hair. So part of me is thinking, do I go red from, say, February to September? And then October, I will go my autumnal colour, which I kind of got it narrowed down to two. Or I'm thinking, do I go, say, like, February to July back ombre? Like, a little bit normal, let's just say, because I think the green hair is still quite a lot of things for people. Um, and then go red. But I'm thinking, I'm not going to lie, I'm thinking of my bank balance. Because to go red is quite expensive. And I'm thinking, I don't just want to go red for, like, a month or so. But then to go ombre is expensive and do I just want to do that for say two or three months and then change to red I don't know if you have any tips do you think I should go say red in February and then I can get it topped up in say like August or when I need to before my holiday or shall I go ombre from say like February to May and then have June July August September red and then go my color October November December into next year my other color or should I be ombre for on holiday? I don't know. I really don't know. This is the thing. This is my predicament that I have. I really don't know. However, because poorly body aches, this has been a godsend. I normally speak about this when I'm aching from the gym. No, I have been using this because number one, I was aching from dancing too much at the Christmas party. And also just my body was aching in general. So this combined with the Radox muscle therapy, which... I don't have i've used it all and i stupidly put it in the recycling bin is what has been working for me wonders please don't think i'm a child you... i'm 27 but yes i'm a child i really enjoyed having my little festive rubber duck on my bath on the little bath board and you just hit me in the eye thanks for that mate you know me um i am 27 but i do still love a rubber duck in the bath I like my pink glitzy one for all year round. I need to try and find like a Halloween one. That would be cool, wouldn't it? I'm sure I'd be able to pick that up in the bath centre. Bath centre? Bargain shop in the bath department. I'm sure, because I think I got you from my um, bargain shop. It's just the little things. The little things that make you feel not so alone in the bathtub, eh? And then, I don't know about you guys, but when the weather is really, really cold and I shave... I get really, really bad shaving rash. I never normally get shaving rash or bumps, but when my skin is cold or, like, say, gets out into the cold, whew, razor burns everywhere. So I have been trialing out this, and I must say it's probably one of my favourite creams out there. I have tried the Tesco one. That was all right. There was one from Home Bargains, which was a lemon flavour. That's okay, but you've really got to shake that and it does take a while to foam up. This one is the 2-in-1 Shave and Shower Cream. Intimate Shaving Cream, Reduces Redness and Razor Bumps. It's from FemFresh. Now, we all know I rave about FemFresh. Um, I was very lucky enough this year that she sent me a little PR parcel with some bits and bobs because that is the only brand that I will use on my girl. It is hypoallergenic. It's very sensitive. Obviously, if you do have extreme sensitive skin i would still read all the um ingredients and that on the back but for me i can't fault it and as i say i saw this and i was like mm, we'll give it a little go it's got moisturizing almond oil and hydrating argan oil 86 percent agree that it reduces the razor bumps and also reduces any redness along the bikini line which no one needs we don't need to be oh my poof poof's empty oh we need to change poof poof still don't know if it's glade or airweek hey ho and then what I've been loving to uh, scrub a dub dub myself with some returning favourites actually Dove. We all know I love a bit of Dove, and I say especially when it's in the colder months, you just want your skin to feel nourished. Talking about nourishment, I've got the Carex Moisture Plus. These ones, the Carex and the Cousons, these are all from Home Bargains, ninety nine p, my lovelies. And this one, dashing through the snow, cinnamon sugar and winter sparkles. Absolutely loved it absolutely loved it 
and very sad that I'm now going to have to... Well, actually, no, I'm not going to stop using my Snow Fairy. Who says I have to stop using my Snow Fairy? Not me. That's for sure. Not me. And then the last little bit, my lovelies, is a fragrance and makeup. Not going to lie, I haven't really been wearing much makeup. Not going to lie at all. But my three lip products that I've been loving are... You know this is a returning favourite. MAC Velvet Teddy. This is the perfect little nude shade and pretty much, I would say, 75% of the time I have Velvet Teddy. On my lips, right now, I just have a clear gloss, which is over there because I didn't want to put too much over the patch. My other go-to is Soft Spoken by NYX. So if you see me with a nude and it's a little bit glossy, it will be NYX. If it is fully matte, it is matte. And then if you see me with like a really, really dark brown matte lip, it is probably going to be my Too Faced Gingerbread Girl. And all oh, Canon, there we go. I haven't really ventured from nudes. I know it is the season of festivity. I have had my Clinique little red one you've seen before with a little bit of shimmer. That has made an appearance. But I haven't actually done a full-on red lip for Christmas. I think with the hair, I was a bit worried. Which I probably shouldn't have done because a red lip probably would have looked quite nice with this. But I didn't want to test the waters. We just went with like a nice nude and see how it goes. And then my foundations... I'm still using my holiday foundation. Yes, I'm not on holiday anymore and I'm not tanned, but I pair it with my Rimmel lasting 25 hours. So I've actually just repurchased this. This is the L'Oreal True Match. This is, as I say, a tad dark for me now. It's the 3.R, 3.C Rose, Rose Beige. And then I have the Rimmel Lasting Finish in 103 True Ivory. So basically one of the lightest that you could get. And I mix it with this. Gives me a nice little complexion, I think. A nice little complexion indeed. And then fragrances. Normally on my counter, on my dressing table, I swap over my fragrances every month, don't I? Yeah, I haven't. I've been too busy. Number one, because I can't get to it because of the Christmas tree. And I made sure that when I changed it over in November, I put like a good mixture out. However, I've kind of reverted back to a few of my classics. Vivian Westwood Boudoir. Now, when I wear this, I do get the comments. Canon. There we go. I do get the comments of, that's something like my nan would wear. And I get it because it does remind me of something my nan would wear as well. However, it's a classic. This one, you put a couple of spritz on, you're good to go all day. Pretty much all of these, you're good to go all day. This one, this was the one I should have got at the airport when I went abroad and I didn't. But I'm so glad I picked it up now. This is the Tom Ford Black Orchid. This I get a lot of compliments on when I wear it at work as well. And they're like, oh, Shan. They're like, have you got fold on again? I'm like, yep. They're like, the proper one or the wrong one? I'm like, no, the proper one. The wrong one is still unisex. That is noir. But it's a lot more intense. That noir from Tom Ford is definitely more of an evening perfume. These ones I can get away with daytime or evening. Noir is definitely evening. And then I've really been loving my black opiums. I've got the neon green and the berries. I love these. These are very nice. They're heavy, but they're light. So it doesn't matter if you go into work. You don't have to put loads and loads on, but you can give a little top up throughout the day. It's not something that's as heavy as those two. These are a nice little, nice little combo, I tell you. And you're probably thinking, Shan, there's no book. I haven't been reading this month. I'm not going to lie, my lovelies. There's been no time. I have not been reading, but I have got some new books for Christmas, if you saw my what I got for Christmas. But the books are slightly different. They're a lot more like positivity, life-affirming books, a lot of poetry books, because I say I'm trying to get into poetry next year. However, I do still have a lot of books that I didn't read this year, which I'm eyeing up which ones to start. I'm thinking, do I start with the Tattooist of Auschwitz collection? Then it goes on to Silka's Journey and Three Sisters. Because I don't know about you, I like to time it so that the book kind of fits the season. Which probably sounds very, very silly. But that could be January, April. January, April. Oh my goodness, Sham, what are you doing in your mind? January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August. I need some funny ones. September will be a Kindle one. October, I could probably start the true crime that Dada got me. November, 
it's going to be a little book ain't it and then december we just don't read because there's just not enough time so yeah there's no um, book episode for this month my lovelies and in terms of gym stuff there's nothing for gym because i ain't been i'm not going to sit and be like yeah i've been loving my gym bag because i haven't i haven't however i have made a purchase in the boxing day sales i bought myself some new trainers I've bought myself some new trainers, so I'm very excited. And when I start back in the gym, I will be looking forward to them because, yeah, new pair of trainers, new lease of life. I may have ordered also some bits from Able in the sale. So maybe in the new year, I might do like an Able, like a revamp haul, like some new bits that's going to get me in the vibe for the new year. But guys, oh, this is the last one done for 2022. So, my lovelies, another year gone another year gone done and dusted 12 episodes of me sitting here waffling on about what i've liked every month and you know what they're gonna stay i'm sorry if you don't like these videos and you find them boring but i love just sitting down and having a chit chat with you i can't help it cannot help it at all that's just me i like a chit chat but guys if you did enjoy the video you know what to do hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below leave me a comment what was your favorite bit from this month and what has been your favorite thing for 2022 whether that be a bottle of booze some perfume a food clothing bath care anything at all let me know guys because yeah very very excited and very very happy with the bits from this year i'm so excited Woo! I'm just eyeing up my muffins because I'm thinking I could do with a bacon and egg muffin now. Take care. Stay safe as always, guys. And I shall see you later on for another video because we're on back-to-back -back uploads. So I don't know if this is a 9am upload or a 6pm. If it's a 6pm, you'll see me tomorrow. If it's 9am, you'll see me at 6. Bye, guys.